Hi everyone, I'm Bill and welcome back to In the Library. A follow-up to one of last year's videos, today I'll present five weird things I found in the American Psychological Association or APA publication manual. Now, before I get into the list, let me just quickly mention that the APA publication manual, which started in 1929, is used for writing and publishing scientific reports and communications, like journal articles um, that are normally primary or original publications, like articles you might find in the Journal of the American whatever association, you know, that's a scientific uh, report. So with that, let's start our list. Number one concerns crediting titles. When crediting an article or chapter title, capitalize only the first word of the title and subtitle along with any proper nouns. You do not use quotation marks. You do not italicize. You do end the line with a period. But when you're crediting a periodical journal, newspaper, or magazine, the whole journal, not just an article, you give the full title in upper and lowercase letters and you italicize. Number two, numbers. Generally, you use numerals for 10 and above, and you use the word for nine and below. There are, of course, exceptions. For instance, if the number is the first word of a sentence, you use the words. Or an even better idea is to rewrite the sentence so it does not begin with a number. Now, when it comes to decimals, there's rules here, too. You use a zero in front of the decimal point when the number could exceed one, but not when it cannot be greater than one, as with proportions. Number three formatting tables and figures. Now, these days, most manuscripts are submitted electronically, so you want to have all the elements of the manuscript in electronic form, and this includes tables. It is suggested by the APA style guide to create tables using the cre table creation part of the word processing program you're using for the text. For photographs, you want the print version of the article will be printed with the photographs as received or submitted by the author. So you want to check all your photographs and your pictures to make sure they are what you want them to look like in the print version of the article. Before we close out this list, I want to let you know that we'll be taking the next two weeks off, but we'll be checking in with you on Patreon. If you would like to see our behind the scenes shenanigans, join our Patreon community for less than the cost of a coffee and donut. Thank you and see you over there. And now back to the list. Number four, there are standard statistical abbreviations. So forgive me for getting all sciencey for a second. Here's a few favorite examples. Uppercase CAT is computerized adaptive testing. Uppercase EM is effect size. Lowercase f, frequency. Lowercase n, number of cases in the subset. Uppercase n, total number of cases, 
lowercase ns, not statistically significant. Now, in addition to the standard abbreviations, there are also all kinds of Greek characters that mean various different things. But I'm not going to get into that now. But it's pretty interesting. And finally, number five, misplaced modifiers. Sometimes if you misplace a modifier, you can make the sentence confusing or illogical. You want to place the modifier as close as possible to the word being modified. For instance, one big one that people have trouble with, according to the APA, is the word only. You want to put only as close as you can, ideally next to the word being modified. For example, these data provide only a partial answer, not these data only provide a partial answer. You see the difference? And that's it for today. Please check out this video right here for five weird things I found in the Chicago Manual of Style. Thank you for watching, and please keep on reading. We'll see you next time.